Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another video and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of a setup tour. We're going to take a look at what stuff I've got like tech and stuff like that and what games I've got. Um, so I did get asked by a few people to do one of these videos. So yeah, let's do it. First of all, check the link down in the description for this merch. It is absolutely banging. Um, and this video is going up I think two weeks in early access for silver. So if you're watching this early... Thank you. If not, click that join button for the silver tier and you'll get access to early videos, which will be pretty nice. But yeah, let's go take a look around. Right, so first of all, subtle plug, uh, get your Mechanic CG hoodie. Looks very cool. Um, so first of all, we're going to take a look at the tech that we've got. So first of all, we have this. This is the TV. I've got some uh, tourist trophy going on, but for some reason it looks very blue. It's weird. Uh, and this is the PlayStation 2. So if you look in here, I have a PlayStation 2 currently hooked up. It is the slim model. Uh, and it has Taurus Trophy in there, but uh, not working. I can't open it. And I use one of these uh, PS2 to HDMI connectors so that I can have it as a HDMI input. So that, that way, I can connect it into one of these. It is a Ava Media Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus capture card. This one has a... Hold on, let's have a look. So inside here... I don't know, is that going to focus? Are you going to focus? Ford Focus, Fiesta... There we go. 128 gigabytes, which is enough for, depending on what I'm recording, is more than enough storage space for what I'm using. And in fact... If I get rid of that out of the way, you can see here I actually have two of them. So when I'm doing streaming and recording, you have the other one there as well. Please focus. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's my tech for like recording. Uh, I've also got Gran Turismo 4, but uh, I have this as well. This is the Xbox One X. I've got a load of stickers on there because I feel like it. It's made by Apple. Um... And I've also got myself a 2 terabyte hard drive here as well. It's not currently plugged in, though. So, uh, very interesting there. Um, as well, I have another drawer here. This drawer you're going to find absolutely horrendous. This is full of all forms of cables. These are power adapters, mice. We have quite a few things in here. And even some hidden games back there that I don't even know why they're in there. But there are plenty of cables through here. And the drawer beneath contains, well, quite a lot of dark stuff. But here we have more cables just lying around everywhere. So here I've got a um, Samsung VR. Haven't actually used it properly, um, which is probably a bad idea. Uh, I also have one of these. Uh, so this is a PlayStation 3. Uh, this is the super slim model with the... Oh, funny that. Last time I used it was when I did the Gran Turismo 6 series. Haven't used it since. Um, so yeah, that's the super slim. But this isn't working properly at the moment, so I'm going to have to try and fix that. Um, something with the flash drive has gone wrong with it. Um, so basically, I cannot actually download anything to it. Which is weird. Very weird. Um, we also have in here... One of the latest of the Xbox, uh, not Xbox Ones, Xbox 360s that looks like the original Xbox One. Uh, so this is the Xbox One, uh, Xbox 360E or something. I'm not sure what it was called. Uh, but it's a very nice, very nice console. It does get a little bit warm. It gets much warmer than the other consoles. But uh, yeah, it's fairly nice. Covered in fingerprints. Yeah. Um, inside here, we then have a... Jesus, I'm going to have a nightmare set putting this back. So inside here, we have a Wii U. Um, so this is for playing like Wii games, Wii U games. And the tablet is somewhere in there as well. The uh, controller for it there. I've also got another two PS3 controllers. A Wii remote here. And also a very smashed up iPhone. Um, in fact, you know what? Hang on. Can I do it? Uh, can I do it? Can I do it? 
Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, it's bendy. Can I finish it off? Ah, oh, this is embarrassing. I was saving this as well for like a video. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ooh, that was a loud bang. Right, so as well as that, I have two very useful pits of tech. Um, this one I don't use anymore that much because of uh, this new setup. I haven't actually got space to sort of like mess around with it too much. But when I have my setup over in that corner, I used one of these, which is a HDMI splitter. Uh, so it takes two inputs and has one output or vice versa, one input, one output, but you can switch them. And what it means is that I wouldn't have to swap my cables. Like I could instantly swap. Um, but that's not really necessary anymore. Um, but one thing that is very important is this HDMI splitter. So unlike the other one, this one is a powered one. Um, and it's got one input and it has four outputs. But obviously you'll only ever really use one or two maybe. Um, but what this is mostly used for is for... Um, what's it used for? How have I forgotten this? Oh, it, so I use this more for the uh, PS3 because of the fact that the PS3 has what's called HDCP, uh, which basically stops you from being able to record footage. Um, so this removes that sort of safety feature and means I can record uh, PS3 games. So thanks to this thing is how I could do the my Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6 series. We got some more coming soon. Hopefully, we'll explain what new games are coming soon in my games collection. Oh look, that's me as a baby. <laughs> right, so this corner here is sort of the stuff that you don't see while I'm streaming because I normally put my PC on the Xbox there. Um, this laptop, which is actually a fairly decent laptop. It's got, um, I think, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's got uh, 256 gigabytes solid state. Um, and it's a Intel i7 processor, so it's good enough for, like, the streaming, just about, and, uh, editing. But it hasn't got a proper graphics card in it, so I can't play games with it. So it's specifically a work laptop, but it's fairly decent for what I need it for. Um, if I want to play games, I just get that thing out. Or one of the things in that drawer. Um, but what I also have here is the Logitech G920 wheel. Uh, so this is the wheel with a uh, one penny coin on it. Get rid of that. Uh, and the shifter as well as the wheel. It's all tucked out of the way uh, for now. But that is what I do. Uh, the wheel that I use for like F1 and stuff like that. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at sort of my setup corner here. So these are all my 360 games and a couple of Xbox original games. So first off, let's have a look at this. I have discs flying around everywhere. Uh, let me get rid of that. So the first one is uh, Project Gotham Racing 4. Uh, we've done a part series of this. Um, and it was actually quite a lot of fun. Uh, cost me a pound fifty for that. Um, which, for playing a racing game, this is a fairly decent game. Um, but I sort of don't have the patience for it. Uh, next up is Juiced 2. We paid six quid for that. Um, and this game I wasn't a great fan of. Um, which is why I didn't post any videos on it just because i didn't enjoy it and if i don't enjoy something i don't really like posting the content for so uh yeah that is another game next up sean white snowboarding didn't like it goodbye uh and then this beast midnight club los angeles this is actually backwards compatible on the xbox one uh this was quite a lot of fun actually um never got around to finishing it just because I got a bit bored midway through, so yeah, that's why that ended very quickly, actually. Uh, next up is then Pure and Lego Batman. This is sort of the uh, bundle. Wait, I think this is one of the bundles you get when you buy the Xbox. They sort of bundled it together with stuff. And then uh, I got this, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Five quid that costs. This, see, this is going to be a controversial opinion, but I actually prefer Need for Speed Most Wanted um to most of the other criteria on need for speeds actually i definitely preferred this one to hot pursuit though hot pursuit was a very good second i didn't like the run uh which is just there um so yeah right so next up on our little list i'm just sort of trying to hold this so i can 
uh, keep the microphone uncovered. So our next up on our list is Colin McRae Rally 3. So actually this surprisingly doesn't work uh, for some unknown reason on my Xbox 360. Um, I don't know whether this is like one of the few games that aren't backwards compatible. But uh, I know this is on the PS2, so I will just end up buying a PS2 copy of this. Um, it's only 50 pence as well, so that's not too much. That's like 60 cents in America. So, um, yeah, that is not too bad. Uh, next up is Forza Motorsport 3. We've done a little bit of this. I'm planning at some point to come back, like, completely restart the game, play through it from the beginning again. But uh, I sort of need to get round to doing that first. Um, but yes... Forza Motorsport 3, very nice game. Uh, one of my first games that I actually played, so definitely enjoyed that as a kid quite a lot. So that is a very good one. Uh, next up is Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. This is a very fun game. Um, I've played a tiny bit on a alt account to see if I want to play it on the channel, and it is definitely a game I want to play on the channel. I don't know whether it will be just live streamed, or whether it's a series, but definitely could be one of those. Uh, but it is a very fun game. Um, obviously, online multiplayer was a big thing in these games. Um, but multiplayer does not exist for most of these uh, 360 games. But this definitely... If you have a spare £3.50 lying around, go down to your local CEX and get one. Because CEX is very good, actually, for getting uh, your used games and stuff like that. Especially things like this, Dirt Showdown. This is a lot of fun to mess around with. Um, I've actually got some of my family to play it as well, which is quite a lot of fun to see them uh, messing around with games and sort of getting in on the stuff that I like as well. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is... I think this was the last one they made for the 360 before they sort of stopped on the Dirt series for a good three or four years till they made Dirt Rally. So, uh, yeah, that's a definite purchase if you can. Uh, and then next up, from a game, which is like GameStop, but the British version, uh, Far Cry 2. Um, so this was, this is quite a good game. Um, but uh, back in, when I started it in, I think it was May last year, or June, um, I wasn't a great fan of it. Um, I've come back to it recently and quite enjoyed it more than I did. So, um, it's a decent game. But, uh, obviously, you sort of have to be into those old shooting games. And I'm not a great fan of old shooting games. So, that one goes out of the way. Now, this one is a controversial one. Rainbow. I can't believe you own this version of Test Drive. Um, but Test Drive Unlimited on 360. This is, is a decent game. But I found it very boring at the start, um, which is why I prefer the PSP and the PS2 version of this, because it just gets you straight into race and action. There's no no BS at the start. There's no, oh, you got to pick up people and drop them off. that Because that stuff doesn't interest me too much. I mean, they're missions, but like not have every single race at the start being that, which this was. I sort of had every single like driving mission at the start. If I've done it wrong, let me know. But uh, yeah, that's what I sort of went through. Uh, next up, Need for Speed Undercover. The What I would say is the best uh, Need for Speed ever made by Black Box, personally for me, is Need for Speed Undercover. This one was a huge amount of fun. Look at my hair, jeez. Uh, but yeah, this one's a lot of fun. Obviously, you get, like, when you get games from CEX, you get a lot of, like, damage boxes. But uh, they're still pretty... F decent they're fine enough um but yeah that is very good a very good game it's a 12 though which i still don't understand why but uh, next up the classic skate for some reason this is a highly desired game which is why it's like quite expensive for uh used games but uh skate is just a fun game to mess around with i don't think this will ever appear on the channel but uh to just play around with have some fun um, the fact is, I think these servers are still live, which is impressive. Um, so to play that with friends is really cool. Uh, next up, I've played this uh, a couple of times on the channel before, um, is Sega Rally. So this is like a very arcade rally game. Um, surprisingly difficult for rally games, um, especially like the arcade rally games. So yeah, the, <laughs> this is an interesting one. 
Um, and next up, one of my favorite games in the Dirt series, Colin McRae Dirt 2. Um, so, obviously, it's a tough choice between Dirt 2 and Dirt 3. But uh, I would say Colin McRae Dirt 2 is my favorite. And I think this series recently finished, I think maybe a month ago. So, definitely, if you um, haven't played this or you want to see if it's good... Double check the series um, on Colin McRae Dirt 2. Because it's very good. It's a very fun game. Um, and it's got like all sorts of like X Games, Monster Energy, DC Shoes and all that stuff. So, pretty cool. Uh, we got a Assassin's Creed here. Never played it. Goodbye. Uh, and then here. Need for Speed The Run. Um, so, this one, I did play through all of it. It was quite a short game. Which was um, a bit gutting. In all honesty. But yes. I wasn't a great fan of it. Um, I would say there are definitely better Need for Speeds. But it's a Need for Speed. And anyone who says oh a game is bad because it's not as good as the others in the series. No. You can't say that. It just means it's not as enjoyable for you. But that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's still fairly decent. Just you may not have as much excitement as other people with it. Um, so next up, this, Tom Clancy Rainbow uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. So uh, I have played a couple of videos on this. Um, again, it was only like two or three, and I think it was about over a year ago. So um, again, I'm doing this as like, take a look. But if anyone wants uh, any of these games sort of replayed, let me know. Because I'll be more than happy to play through these if someone's going to watch it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, but yeah, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, I quite enjoyed that one. Uh, we've then got this one, Mirror's Edge. Uh, quite a fun game, actually. I played through a fair amount of it. But uh, yeah, definitely want to play through this completely at some point. Because I haven't completely finished it yet. So uh, that's something on my uh, bucket list, I think. Gaming bucket list, yeah. Uh, and then Test Drive Unlimited 2. This is... Well, there's, there's no other way of putting it, but uh, the best racing game out there, best open world racing game, best anything, no other game, my PS2 is doing something weird, uh, no other game has actually come close to this in over 10 years. So um, obviously Test Drive Solar Crown is going to bring a lot to the table, I think. Um, so hopefully... TDU Solar Crown is going to be destroy this out of the park. Because if it does, I'll be happy. Because any game that can beat Test Drive deserves to be a good game. Definitely. Um, next up is Rainbow Six 3. Never played... Well, I've played it a bit, but never done it anywhere near the channel. Or even done a proper test of it to see if I want to play it. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that one today. Uh, and then next up is Just Cause 3. Just Cause 2. Sorry. Got that mixed up. I'm very sorry. Uh, this game's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And this one actually has... I don't know whether the last one has Avalanche Studios, but this one has Avalanche Studios. And obviously Avalanche does an amazing job at making like explosions look amazing. You've obviously got like Rage and Rage 2. I'm not sure about Rage, but Rage 2 definitely has Avalanche. And it is an amazing looking game. And this one is fairly decent. Um, so if you can find it cheap, pick it up. And then uh, Burnout Paradise. So I own this on the 360. But also the remastered version on... Um, what's it called? Xbox One. So I have two copies. But uh, obviously the remastered one has all the DLC. This is just the base game. So yeah. That is one half of my uh, 360 collection. I've got another section just next to it. Right, so now I've charged up my bloody phone and it's not died on me. Uh, let's have a look at this. So uh, this is Forza Motorsport. This is the original. This is what started the Forza. Um, sort of not been a great fan of Forza lately. Um, I think it went downhill after 4. Uh, Forza Motorsport 5, 6 and 7 have all been a little bit disappointing. Um, the Horizons have been good. Obviously, Horizon 1 was a bit of a dis uh, disappointment as well. But, uh, yeah, those are all right. Then this is a another one of my favorite games. 
Drive to San Francisco. I did a full walkthrough of this. Uh, go check that out. This is an absolutely stunning game. Actually, Ubisoft don't, for some reason, want you playing this game. Um, I know Nick Robinson made a video on it, and I watched it, and that was the reason why I wanted to play it, because it looked so cool. Um, but you can't actually get this game on the Xbox. It's on the Xbox Store, it's backwards compatible, but it's only with the disc. You cannot buy the game on the store, download it. If you own it, you can download it, if you bought it digital. But other than that, you cannot get it without a disc. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next up is Colin McRae Dirt. I have the 360 version and the PS3 version, but for some reason, this disc here... Uh, it doesn't work properly. Do I still have... Hang on. Oh my gosh, it is. I have a receipt here for it being bought from a entertainment store from where I live. And uh, they bought it for 14 quid and I bought it from for two from CEX. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've also got a, another copy of Forza Motorsport 3, but this is the normal edition. This one here obviously says Ultimate, uh, and this one here doesn't. Uh, the reason why I have two is because I lost this while I did the first video of the series. I had done, like, three, and I wanted to carry it on, so I bought another copy, and I bought the Ultimate one. Um, and, yeah, that didn't go to plan. So I may come back and do that again, though. Uh, delete all the old videos and start it again. Uh, because it wasn't a full walkthrough, so I may as well just begin it again from the start. Um, but this is Ridge Racer 6. Obviously, we've been recently playing this. Um, I had to finish it because it was getting way too difficult for me. Um, for some reason, this is like the dirtiest case I've ever seen bought from uh, CEX. The colour is... I'm guessing the person who had this before was like a heavy smoker or something. Because it's like smoke colour. Um, definitely darkened. <laughs> Not a very nice colour. Just a quick comparison. The old Xbox case is a brighter colour than this. And the 360 cases are very bright cases. So, uh, then we've got Assassin's Creed 3. Don't need to question that. Uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Uh, I don't actually have the guitar for this, but uh, I have the game. And this one is a fairly decent decent game um i do have a guitar i don't know where i put it uh in all seriousness but hopefully i can find it at some point uh, i've also got falls of motorsport 2 so i played this a couple of days ago and it's quite a lot of fun it feels a lot like um for a game that came out in what is the year is that the year there uh it's not focusing are you gonna focus please focus phone i have no patience for you there we go 2006 so for 2006 it felt like a game from 2001 uh it felt a lot like um what's the game gran turismo 3 um but it is still a fairly decent game don't get me wrong uh i quite enjoyed playing it for a bit um but i feel like forza motorsport 3 was more enjoyable uh, and then we have this, Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Vegas. So, obviously, we've got um, Vegas 2, and we've also got the original Vegas. So, is the disc in there? I can't hear the disc. I can't even open it. Yeah, the disc is in there. Fair enough. Uh, and then we've got Fuel. Um, so, this game's crap. I'm never playing this. It is rubbish. I don't like it, the way it plays. I thought it was going to be like MotorStorm. But by Codemasters, um, it wasn't anything like that. Um, and then here we go, Dirt 3. So this is... I didn't actually realise how much I spent on this game. I didn't realise it was that expensive. But uh, Dirt 3, absolutely stunning game. Played through this twice before. Um, Colin McRae Dirt 2 played through... Three times? Four times? I think four times. Um, but this one I played through twice. And I actually did a 100% playthrough on the channel. I think it's still going for a bit. I think there's a moth in my room because my light just flickered. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun to play. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. Then Virtual Tennis 4. Played through this entirely in one sitting. Uh, in about three hours. There is a massive moth in my room. 
Let me try and get rid of that quickly. Right, uh, Moth is refusing to go anywhere, so I'm going to have a flickering light. Um, but here, Virtual Tennis 4, very fun game. Uh, I've actually got Virtual Tennis 2 and 3, which we'll go over in a minute. And all of the games are a very fun, very easy to play experience, which Sega does a brilliant job of making games easy to play. Um, so yeah, Virtual Tennis 4, very good game. What the hell was that? Oh well. Uh, next up, Need for Speed Pro Street. So uh, this game I played on the PSP. And obviously the PS2 version is the same as the PSP version. Um, but I I like the PSP version. So that's why I bought this. And when I played this, I didn't like it. Um, there was just something... I don't know whether it was because I had nostalgia of this game being the PSP version. And therefore didn't like it because of that. Or whether it just wasn't enjoyable for me. But it could be a mix of both. Um, but I didn't really like this one too much. Uh, next up, we have Ridge Racer Unbounded. This is a uh, very fun racing game. Um, sort of not very walkthroughable because the structure of it is just a nightmare. But uh, yeah, this is a very fun game. Uh, from, obviously, Namco, Ridge Racer. I think this was one of the last Ridge Racers that they made. Might have been the second to last one. But uh, they haven't made a new one since. So hopefully Namco can uh, understand their ways. Hear this video and make Ridge Racer 8 for the PS5. Would be amazing. Uh, so next up, Forza Horizon. The start of an amazing franchise. Though recently Forza Horizon 4 has been under a lot of fire. It's not been doing very well. There's been a lot of people getting banned for stupid reasons. And... Yeah, I've sort of uh, lost my love for Forza because of it lately. Um, but going towards Gran Turismo has sort of been a lot more enjoyable. Uh, this is Assassin's Creed. Yeah, definitely don't. Haven't played it. I've sort of collected more of these games. But a lot of these 360 games I've actually played through at least halfway, I would say. Um, but I also have... Oh, I've just dropped this next one. But most of these shooting games I've only played a little bit. Um, this one is Battlefield 3. Never played this before. Uh, but it was 99 pence, so sort of adds to the collection. And I know a lot of people say it's a good game. Just haven't gotten round myself to play it. Um, but at some point, I definitely will. Uh, on to the last few. We've got Red Dead Redemption. Which I got to play on the Xbox One. And it just didn't work. But now I've got the 360... Um, yeah, should be okay. Should be okay to play this at some point. Uh, and then the final game is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, which hopefully, if they make a remaster for this, for the Xbox One, um, and all that, I think I may have to re get the remaster and play through that. Um, if the remaster comes out before November, then I'll be buying it, and then on... The 10 year anniversary I'll play this game. If not. Then um, I'll play this. To start out with. And then get up to speed with the remaster. But yes. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. And that is all of my Xbox 360 games. Um, before we go on to the next segment. If you do want to. Obviously these are the games. You can see them here. And you can see these ones here. If you want any games to be done that are on 360 let me know so yes yeah, so if you guys do want to see any 360 games let me know in the comments uh tourist trophy alcohol um guitar i'm actually pretty good at guitar if you want to see any guitar stuff let me know um but what we're going to do now is we're going to go through this side of the room what games i've got here so first of all we're starting off with gran turismo one so uh this one obviously classic playstation game uh, has a absolutely massive game manual in it. Uh, and it tells you all about, uh, say, driving lines, tyres, all sorts of different stuff. Um, and, yeah, it's fairly uh, fairly detailed on stuff like that. Obviously, this is the Platinum Edition, so it's got the super shiny disc. And even has an advertisement for analogue 
controllers. That's how old this is, because obviously analog is sort of like a standard for PlayStation now. Everything is analog. Uh, we've also got the uh, updated revision, Gran Turismo 2. I think this is actually... What version is this? I cannot find it. But I know there are two versions um, of Gran Turismo. Uh, so this is probably the first edition, by the looks of it. It's a PAL version, so whatever it is, it's Gran Turismo 2 on the PlayStation. So that is very nice. And then we're going to move on to the next one, which is the PlayStation 2. Uh, so we have, first of all here, we have... F1 Championship, so this is uh, sort of like classic Formula 1 games. Uh, very nice, very fun. Um, I'm not a great fan... Actually, I don't think I've tried the... No, I have played this, I think. Yeah, I think I played this EA one, and the EA version wasn't too great. Um, but this one here, the 2001 version, was a little bit better to play, a little bit more enjoyable. Um, but I don't think this is EA. Uh, I think EA sort of dropped the rights after a while. They've dropped the rights for a load of games in the days. Uh, next up is Ridge Racer 5. Um, you just sort of can't see the text because it's behind the uh, paid for sticker. But yeah, this uh, played this a little bit. All of these PS2 games I've played a little bit. Um, but this one is a little bit difficult compared to the other Ridge Racers. Um, I don't know whether it's because I had a slow car or something, but it's a lot more difficult than others. So, not a great fan of that. But uh, here is a classic game, one of my favourites. So, going to arcades in the UK, almost all of them would have some form of car game. And one of the most popular that you will see in the UK is this. Outrun. One of the most amazing arcade games out there. And it's thoroughly enjoyable. So um, it is a official uh, Ferrari licensed product. So the game itself is only Ferrari cars. But there are many, many Ferraris. As you can see, there is... Uh, I don't know what these are. I know that's definitely an F50. That is a... What is that? That's like an Enzo mixed with something else. And then that's a uh, California or something... But yeah, there's so many different things in this. And obviously, you've got the classic arcade. Obviously, this is like a proper game. But uh, you have the original arcade mode that you get in the arcades. And obviously, unlimited tries don't have to pay any more for that. Very nice. Uh, and then next up, Colin McCrory Rally 2005. I've actually played this for some reason, right? On... I don't want to grab the memory card because it's currently playing. But inside one of these memory cards for the PS2, it uses over half of its memory. Over half of the 8 gigs. So I've had to buy extra memory cards because of it. Um, but yes, it uses over half of it. Uh, next up, NASCAR 209. Um, very difficult. Every single AI car in this is like overpowered as hell. So um, yeah. Not a great fan of that. Uh, we're then going to go to Midnight Club 3. So uh, I know sewer people um, didn't make me. That's the wrong word. But uh, said I should get this. Give it a try. It's a very fun game. Uh, so it's definitely worth a try at some point maybe as a video. Um, and for some reason, this has a fancy sticker. It's got fancy numbers. Ugh. Very nice. Um, Sidetrack. Uh, then we've got this. You all know this. We've just finished... Recording the entire series of this, I have. Um, I don't think it finishes until November time. I think it's like early November before it finishes. So, should stay tuned for that one. Uh, and then next up, these are the Polyphony games. So we have this. Gran Turismo 3. It's the first only case that I have that is bright red. And it's a very nice red, actually. If you look inside... Nice silver disc. It's very cool looking. The one thing I love about uh, PS2 cases is the memory card holder. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so awesome that they added that. Very useful feature so that I can keep, say, whenever I'm recording. For example, when I'm recording, currently I have my uh, YouTube memory card in. 
But uh, I would normally put my YouTube card in there. But uh, Taurus Trophy. So I keep my YouTube PS2 card in there. And I also keep my personal playthrough card inside of the Gran Turismo 4 case. This one has a massive crack in here though. So uh, that's not nice. But uh, yeah, that is Gran Turismo 4. <laughs> very, very fun game. Very difficult at times. Uh, so far, I've completed about 30% personally. And it's taken me about three weeks to a month to get that far. So to do a series, I'm looking forward to spending my entire life doing a series on that. Definitely. Right, so we're now on to the second half. These are sort of... Uh, there are less racing games on this part. Um, so first of all, we have Lego Star Wars The Original Trilogy. This is a good game. Very much enjoy the Lego... The classic Lego games. They're much more enjoyable. Uh, I also have Lego Star Wars here, the original one. And I've also got Lego Indiana Jones. Uh, this one, definitely enjoying that right now. Um, we also have Rayman Revolution. Very fun game. Uh... Ford Racing 3, very arcadey looking game. Um, not a great game, I will admit. But again, back in the day, these would have been good games. But obviously, now you wouldn't get away with having small developers like this. Because they just wouldn't sell. Um, again, same story with this one, London Racer 2. As much as it looks amazing, <laughs> the idea of it being in sort of my home country, it's not great. Um, and then here we have Virtua Tennis 2. So I've played this and alongside with the Xbox games, that's my fan. It got too hot in here. Um, but this is very easy to play. Um, for some reason, it's quite intensive on the PS2, which is very surprising. Uh, my PS2 struggled a little bit, but uh, definitely a very fun game. Uh, next up, Ghost Recon and Splinter Cell as well. Tom Clancy's, um, so not a great fan on shooting games of the old generation, just because they're a nightmare, um, and then another game I got, Midnight Club 2, now the problem with this, this doesn't work at all, um, I will give it another try, but I don't think it works at all, so I'm going to have to get that replaced, and then Final Fantasy 12, not a great fan of that either, just doesn't feel right to me, but yeah, very, very good, Obviously, that's all my PS2 games so far, and I don't think I'm going to be getting any more for quite a few months, because I don't need any more. I've got what I need for now, um, but again, recommendations always greatly accepted, so let me know in the comments. Right, for some reason, this uh, high frame rate 1080p 60fps video mode on my phone, Android by the way, so uh, bet you didn't notice that straight away. But, um, yeah, it drains my battery pretty crazy, so plugging this in. Um, but let's move on to PS3 games. So, first of all, I'm going to have a scroll through. Some of these games I got from uh, one of my neighbours, uh, pay for them. FIFA, don't play football. FIFA, don't play football. Uh, I then got Modern Warfare. Um, this doesn't work. This just doesn't work. <laughs> Broken. Um... Where else do we have? What else do we have? Sports Champions. What is this? Don't know. <laughs> I have it. Uh, I apparently have another copy of Assassin's Creed 3, which I also have a remastered copy on Xbox. So, technically, I have three copies of uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, and another sneaky FIFA. <laughs> I don't play FIFA. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. Um, but next up, let's have a look. Here I get into the good games. Okay, so GTA 5. It's okay. Um, they really do need to uh, fix the game. In terms of when I say fix, I mean make a new one. Because there's so many problems with this and they're just adding it onto problems. They need a new one. Right, so next up is a potential new series that could come through at some point is MotorStorm, as well as MotorStorm Pacific Rift. Now, this I'm going to spend a while talking about. So, MotorStorm is one of those series that I love, alongside Gran Turismo. Now, MotorStorm is obviously by, if you look here, Evolution Studios. 
Now, these are the studio that also... Hello, 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 can you focus? There we go. This is also the studio who made Drive Club. Now, Drive Club, although I haven't played it, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, especially from Black Panther and that. But, MotorStorm was one of those games that was revolutionary. So, it was an off-road racing game where you could take monster trucks, buggies, quad bikes bikes and even a rally car as you can see being crushed by this monster truck now the thing with this is there was so much to do and it was such an exciting game to play um but definitely problems with that being that the studio is no more uh which is an absolute shame i'm gonna move these out of the way but yes motorstorm a very nice game uh, next up is, we've got Lego Harry Potter, years 5 to 7, I don't know what that means. Never played it, but worth a try, probably. Uh, and then Lego Star Wars 3, very nice game. Oh, pre-owned, 3 for 2, bargain. Um, and then we also have Lego Batman, the classic. Uh, I think this is on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox Original, Wii, and... I think that might be it. But this this game made it on so many different consoles, it's unreal. Um, next up here uh, on the list is Virtual Tennis 3. Lovely tennis game, a lot of fun. Huge amount of fun. Uh, and now these two games, you may recognise from over there in the 360 section. Colin McRae Dirt, Colin McRae Dirt 2. So obviously the Dirt 2 series... I played the 360 version. The Dirt 3 series, I played the 360 version because I don't have a PS3 version. But the Colin McRae Dirt original series, I played on the PS3 because it's a much higher quality game on the PS3. And this actually came out after the Xbox 360 version, so it's got quite a few bug fixes. But also, sad story, this game actually came out... The day before Colin McRae died in the helicopter crash, where he died alongside his uh, five-year-old son, which is a very tragic story. Um, if you guys want to search it up on Wikipedia, there'll be stories about it. It's quite a sad one. But um, light in the mood, Ridge Racer 7. Now, this is a whole lot better than Ridge Racer 6. So, this is a huge game with visual customization, stuff like that. Very fun. And coming on to the final of the PS3 games... We have this, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. So, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue came out a year after they did their GT5 HD, uh, GT HD thing, which was them going from the PS2 quality, where it was like 480p, to 720, which back in the day, 720 was classed as high definition. Now, it's not so much classed as high definition, but it is still high quality. And they did a HD... And then, because Gran Turismo 5 took them so long, and was going to take them a while, they made the prologue, and this came out in 2007. And it wasn't until three years later that this game came out, Gran Turismo 5. This here, this copy, isn't pre-owned. This is brand new for me. I have kept hold of this copy since Christmas in 2010. And I remember opening this game and being super excited. It I haven't remembered being so excited over a game since ever. And it is honestly amazing. Um, and then Gran Turismo 6. Very fun game. Very complete game. Obviously, we finished that. Uh, this series finishes late November, so stay tuned for that. But yes, this is a very fun one. A very fun one to enjoy. Right, I'm not even joking. I am melting here. But this is the final section. I know this video has taken a while, so if you've watched all the way through, absolutely amazing. Good on you. Um, but we are going to move on to Xbox One games. So here, uh, I'm going to have an absolute nightmare getting these out because this is absolutely full to the top. So first of all, we have a Battlefield 5. Uh, this game... Uh, let down. Battlefield 1 was so much fun. I played so much of it and I enjoyed it so much. Surprisingly. I'm not very confident on open, like, Battlefield 
shooting games. But Battlefield 1 was amazing. But this was a disappointment. Massive disappointment. Um, next up, Need for Speed. Alongside with... Uh, I can't find the other one. Need for Speed Payback. So we did a live stream on this. Um, quite a while ago, obviously, that's uh, been deleted as of recently. But, uh, yes. Definitely played that. Had a lot of fun with these. Um, I love my race. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm a racing game fan. Um, but next up, we have Far Cry 4 in disc format and Far Cry 5 Deluxe Edition. I've actually got the uh, extra packs inside there. Um... So, yeah, this is a very nice one. I got this actually the same day I got the Xbox One because I got the One X sort of for my birthday in... When was it? About two years ago. Just over two years ago um, for my 16th. And, yeah, got Far Cry 5. And then I bought Far Cry 4 a couple of months later when I realised Far Cry 5 was an absolutely amazing game. Uh, next up is Dirt Rally. This was a dreadful game for me because I couldn't play it. Uh, I am very rubbish with sort of the realistic sim side of this game. But it does come with a Colin McRae Rally Legend deal DVD. Um, obviously, Dirt, as much as they separated from the Colin McRae name since the accident, have stuck with him quite a lot. So they made the DVD for Rally, and then they also, for Rally 2.0, made the DLC too. Um, but this looks very fancy, fancy stuff. Uh, and it even shows, like, Legend Edition stuff. And a special car, which uh, I now no longer have, because that's on my old account, my old one, which I got locked out of. Uh, and then Dirt 4, um, which is also on Game Pass, so I don't really use the disc anymore. But the disc is still there, the option is still there, so yes. Uh, then we have Lego Dimensions. I uh, don't have the thing anymore, so it's pointless. It just sits here collecting dust. And then F1 2017. I think this was the last season of F1 with the sort of like hair comb meow logo before they upgraded to the new one, which I don't actually have a case for the new one because, you know don't have it uh and then next up we have horizon 2 on disc i obviously bought this pre-owned from cex as well um this one i bought quite a long time ago actually now that i think about it long long time ago so uh, yeah there's that then we've got uh minecraft story mode a very fun uh sort of story game telltale quite in quite enjoyed that a little bit um and then falls of Motorsport 7 a lot better than Forza Motorsport 6, I will say that right now, but a bit of a disappointment. Um, so, yeah. And then we're moving on to Minecraft. Doesn't work anymore. Uh, Fallout 4, which for some reason there's a massive, like, smudge. But uh, this recently came off of Game Pass, so I'm going to have to start using the disc again to play that. So, gutted about that. Look at this tower. It's crazy. Uh, Rocksmith. Um, so that is sort of how I learned to play the guitar. I am better than that. I'm just messing around. Um, and then here... Oh, crap. Is the last few games that we have. So, Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely enjoyed this game. Never wanted, even from the start, to play this as a um, series. Just because of the fact that it's such an amazing game. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. I haven't played a story game this good in ever. But, if you guys really want to see a walkthrough on it, then uh, feel free to let me know and I'll do it. Um, I was sort of thinking maybe a first person perspective walkthrough. Because obviously, that is completely different to anything else you would probably see. So, it would be pretty cool. And obviously, I played it in third person, so it would be a new experience for me. So, if you think that's a good idea, let me know. Uh, Trackmania Turbo. Absolutely difficult game. Difficult as hell, but fun. So, if you do it, good on you. Project Cars. Halo 5. Guitar Hero Live. I have 147 days playtime on this game. I'm not proud of it. Not proud of it one bit. But uh, it is a very... I enjoyed the time. Uh, the 
the fact is I had this game for about a year before the server shut down. Um, they shut them down in 2018, so absolutely gutted about that. Rocket League, and then the final one, The Crew 2. Recently bought a digital version of this so I could play it with my mate Alex. You probably heard me talk about him a lot. But, um, yeah, it's The Crew 2. Probably going to give that to my little brother. He likes The Crew 2. Oh, my, my cable fell out. Lovely. Also, another thing I want to quickly mention, if I can get it out, uh, I actually have a steelbook for F1 2017, which is a very, very nice steelbook. This is probably one of the best steelbooks ever. Look at Max Verstappen. He looks so young. Fernando Alonso, you got... Uh, is that Perez? Hmm, interesting. Who's that? I do not recognise them on the end. Uh, Ricardo and... Oh, what was his name? Was it Massa? Felipe Massa? All those years ago. I think that's him. But yeah, that's a very nice steelbook case there. <laughs> Knackered. I am sweating buckets here. It is hot. It's muggy in the UK. It's been an absolute nightmare. Oh, have you seen this as well? I think that is Lewis Hamilton in uh, 2010 or 2011. One, it might be 2011, because Lewis Hamilton went to Mercedes in 2012, I think. So that might be 2011, because you've obviously got the very narrow rear wing. Looks horrible. Never really liked those wings. I like the flat squat down wings. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Um, make sure to grab yourself some uh, Mech Tech merch. We've got the hoodie as well, and we've got some other things over there. So go check it out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any other games, let me know down in the description. I've got plenty of room for some of them. I've got another shelf down there for like emergency storage for extra games if they don't fit. We've got plenty of room for 360 games, so let me know if you want any of those. But also, uh, there was one more thing I want to say. If you're watching this on early access, you silver people and above, Thank you so much. If you're not watching this on early access and you want to join the channel and help support it and help me build up my game collection and make some amazing series that you want to see, hit that join button. It means the one to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.